good to see you. This episode was it was something you know when you uh put up this rick and morty episode and this pops up you know this is gonna be a good one <laughs> but i'm just him and i'm here to review rick and morty season seven episode wherever the hell i have mixed feelings about this episode majority of it wasn't funny very boring felt like a race of time until the ending part um they finally Remember, Morty exists, so that's good. But they put him in possibly the second worst storyline of the season. And the dude who is voicing Morty is terrible. It's 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 bad. It's so obvious that it's not Justin Roiland. You know? Like, Rick's new voice actor is kind of like buttered and gelled into the role pretty well. Where it's damn near indistinguishable at this point. Like, when I listen to Rick speak, I'm like, yeah, that's Rick. Rick is bearable but morty uh eh, morty's new voice is dog shit it's bad it's really bad maybe later on in the season he'll get better but i don't like it this episode deals with a very sensitive topic that is the s word i'm not saying it because i want to be monetized uh, i watched this shitty episode so i might as well get paid for it i don't think that i don't want to say that they made a joke out of it but they made a joke on the basis of people seeing the game over screen, okay? On a stupid, dumb fucking premise. That is, when people die in like an alternate planet or alternate universe or whatever. Whatever the fuck this... Like, they... Ugh, let's just go through it. This is the second worst episode of the season. It's bad. It's really bad. The first episode was the worst because it was egregious garbage. N like, the episode is so bad you can skip it and you're not missing shit. Episode opens up with the family enjoying some spaghetti. Now, this is Rick and Morty. And Rick is the one that brought the spaghetti to the family. I was fully expecting a fucked up reason uh, as to where the spaghetti came from. And I was right. Uh, Rick is taking the spaghetti out of a dead person's body. And he's feeding his family the spaghetti. And then the insides of his body turn into spaghetti. And then Rick took the body and is feeding his family. That alone is fucked up. So normally you would think that Beth, Summer, and Jerry would get pissed off at Rick. For pretty much feeding them corpse spaghetti. They don't. In the previous seasons they will. As we've seen, Beth is... <laughs> Beth ain't tolerating Rick shit no more, okay? Especially Jerry. Jerry and Beth, they they are cracking down on Rick and his bullcrap. They don't this episode. Rick fed them dead people spaghetti and their children, and they did nothing about it, and they wanted more. Are you serious? So uh, title sequence is over. Morty tells the family that it's pretty much dead people that they're eating. But before that, they go to the planet as to where when people die, they turn into spaghetti so that Rick can show Morty that, hey, it's ethical because they, you know, themselves. And now we're just eating their core. They're, we're eating their insides. How is this funny? How, how is this funny? Why would you make this the plot of the episode? At the beginning, right? It's a fucked up joke. Okay, cool. Okay, let's move on to an actual Rick and Morty adventure with them doing some fun shit. No. No. We, we, we go into this plot as to where is it about dead people dying and all uh, themselves and eating the insides. Is it ethical or not? And, you know, he cannot. I'm like, what is this? He doesn't like it because it's ethically wrong. And Morty wants to know the name of the person they just ate. Um, and then Morty takes the stand and said, we pretty much ate this dude. Right in front of his friends and family. They tell the family, and I expected Beth to be pissed off and mortified. 
no pun intended, towards her dad, right? Cursing him out, getting pissed at him, Jerry joining, Summer joining. But no, they actually wanted more dead people spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's what they wanted. I, why? I know the Smith family is just effed up in the head, but this is disgusting. <laughs> this episode is like the last episode with the vomit and shit is that was visibly disgusting. This is every, disgusting in almost every area imaginable. So the family get mad at Morty for spilling the beans. I don't know why they're mad at Morty for doing the right thing. They even said that I don't know why we're mad at you. You did the right thing, but still we wanted to eat that spaghetti guilt free. Morty's about to watch porn because of course he is. It's Morty. Like, that's one of the things they kept about his character. That's right. An alternate planet um, comes and picks up Morty the spaghetti planet and they like saw on the internet that this like at the funeral or whatever morty was making a speech this one dude was um videotaping him now in this world spaghetti doesn't exist so they don't know that this is actually spaghetti they don't know this is literally like guts and and blood pretty much that's what it is so they have morty come eat and they pretty much decide to market Morty. Then he leaves. And then he starts to feed his family uh, the, sp the dead people spaghetti that they gave him from this old lady that died. Are you, are, are you laughing? You're laughing, aren't you? Oh, you're cracking up. You're crying. That's how hard you're laughing. Does this plot sound interesting to you? Does this sound amazing to you? Does this sound like an episode of Rick and Morty you really want to watch? Because the quality of the show has dipped. The quality has dipped. This is not Rick and Morty. I can't believe we're about to actually be worse than season five. If this shit keeps up, season seven will be the worst season. And it is really hard to top the Sperm Monsters episode. That is the worst episode, period. Period. God, I can't wait for them to get back to the Rick Prime story. So now they're killing people and putting them into um, cans, SpaghettiO cans with Morty's face on it. Um, so they go to the planet and a lot of people from different worlds and stuff want this dead people spaghetti. And the whole planet is in ruins because they're pretty much murdering their population to um, put it into these cans, right? They take their insides, put it into the cans, and everyone around the galaxy wants it. That's pretty much what's going on. So they meet the president of this earth and they pretty much start discussing with their alternate ways. Now, one of the alternatives is just to make actual spaghetti, pasta, beef and or ground turkey, ground beef, ground turkey and pasta sauce. I don't like Prego. I like the other brand. What's the other brand called? It has like, you know, it's like Italian sausage flavored. Ooh, love that one. We could do stuff like that, you know, but no. Morty wants Rick to create like clone fucked up clone bodies so that they can harvest their insides for spaghetti instead of actually making actual pasta spaghetti. Does this shit make sense? No, they go through some dumb convoluted bullshit to like asking Rick to make clones and they kill the clones to harvest their insides. That doesn't work because the clone program goes to shit. Because they develop a consciousness. And Morty doesn't like that. So Rick starts to develop. Literally mentally disabled. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm not monetized. This video is not monetized. So fuck it. <laughs> so they create mentally. Disabled clones. And mind you, we presume that these clones are going to have to, you know, game over, you know, themselves. Presumably, that's the plan. So, they finally find a, a solution. It's pretty much a headless, brainless thing that they don't really feel bad for killing, pretty much. So... Rick starts mass producing these. It starts working. They start, you know, <laughs> themselves. 
people of the planet start rebelling, that it's not right to have these torsos being killed just to make a profit. Like the whole point of this is the the president black evil woman is trying to kill people, turn them into spaghetti and make a profit and make deals with like other planets and other solar system businesses. It's it's all for money. It's all for money. That's pretty much she's the villain of the episode. They make, they give us a black female president and she's the villain. Bruh. Anyways, so they blow up the entire lab, lab and then they're pretty much screwed until Rick gets an idea. Right? It's pandemonium. The world is burning. They go to this old dude um, that's dying of, uh, presumably of a sickness. They tell them that, hey, if you help us, we will make sure to stop this spaghetti epidemic. Because he doesn't, he doesn't want to help him. He says... I don't want nothing to do with your bullshit, none of your shenanigans. Get away from me. I want that they convince him, okay? And then this leads us to the best scene in the episode. And to be honest with you, just skip to this scene. I actually like this for the most part. So Rick says, all right, um, I'm going to project your memories into multiple places on the planet. You press this button. You're going to pass away peacefully. But people are going to see your lifelong stories, Okay. And then we're turning into spaghetti. I'll synthesize it, and then we can mass produce it again. That's the plan. Um, I think this is Rick's intelligence comes into play here. This is something Rick would do, and this is very smart. So we see his lifelong story. He was a child being raised by his parents. He meets a girl in high school. They graduate. Um, it's this weird scene where she feeds him like a piece of gum that she's eating. That's nasty. I'm sorry. If I'm in high school and a girl I like walks up to me takes a gum out of her mouth and puts it on my mouth. I'm sorry. I'm doing an RKO, Stone Cold Stunner, Roman Reigns Spear, Goldberg Spear, actually, F5, Jackhammer, Dudley Boy's table spots on you. I ain't playing, okay? Meets the girl. He comes over. Um, they graduate together. They break up. Um, he starts going to college. He tries to get in contact with her to rekindle the relationship. She keeps rejecting him. He has sex with this random hooker. Um, and he pretty much just goes on a downward spiral. He tries to reconnect with her in person. She rejects him again. He moves in with his parents, but they pass away. Either that's his parents or that's his wife or something like that. He then begins to, uh, he becomes like an infrastructure guy. And he pretty much becomes rich. He changes his life around. And then he rekindles his relationship with this old uh, friend. He's middle-aged now. He finds her on friend book. I swear to God, he finds her on friend book. This is like that, Um, what's that shit called? Roy. It's like that Roy stuff, pretty much. It's like that. And Roy was great. I loved it. This is close to it. So he meets up with her. They're presumably in their 40s. They. She reveals that she has a wife. I mean, that she has a husband and children. Okay, husband and kids, she has a whole different life. You know, she did her own thing. And at this point, I feel bad for the dude. I'm like, oh, damn, he missed his shot. Fuck, that's sad, man. Well, at least they're going to grow old together and be friends. And he's going to be happy and supportive of her healthy relationship with her husband and two children. They then have sex, and then she tells him uh, that, hey, I'm leaving you and the children to be with my new husband. So he div she divorces him. Um, he's rich now. He has the mansion to grow old together. She passes away, and then that's when Rick and Morty meet him. And the earlier. So this makes people feel bad, right? And start they start they everyone starts throwing up. That they've pretty much been eating people that have lives, that actually had lives, right? It, it, it brings the humanity out in people and make them realize that it's fucked up to be eating, you know, spaghetti. You know what I'm talking about. Rick says, I don't care. I'm still going to eat. I'm hungry. Then he says, eh, yeah, nah, never mind. This is disgusting. Rick then brings them all Salisbury steak. This part was funny. Uh... <laughs> Why don't you go fuck yourself, Summer? That was funny. 
That was actually funny. That was actually pretty funny. That's the only time I actually laughed in the entire episode. Right? She's like, is this actually steak? Like, what is this? Oh my gosh. Rick tells him that um, if he find out where he got the steak from, they might sell. And the episode's over. And they make a dumb, stupid joke about vacuum cleaners. I don't care. Um, It's not the worst episode of the season. It's not. But it's sec it's the second worst. This episode has been done better before. Rick doing something stupid, Morty finding out, criticizing him on it because it's morally and ethically wrong or it doesn't make sense and it's dumb. Then Rick spends the whole episode punishing Morty over it and showing Morty just how wrong he is. And then Morty begs Rick to fix it and he does it in his own way, making Morty look like an idiot. Oh, wow, sounds like the Vat of Acid episode. One of the greatest episodes of the series, period. Three out of ten. Only because I actually like the ending scene with the dude and his whole life flashing before his eyes. That was good. Didn't like the home wrecking part, but that was good. And the go fuck yourself summer was funny. That's about it. Did a 20 minute rant on how shitty this episode is. God. We need evil. We need evil Morty and Rick Prime back now. Along with Justin Boylan. Like, subscribe, favorite, second channel link in the description on my Twitch. I'm out. Hit the goddamn outro. All right, I'm out. I'm out, y'all. I'm out. <laughs>